What's up, my immune friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. And I took some time and actually went out to the mine. And that rhymes. <laughs> um, yeah, and check it out, guys. Check it out. I got a bunch of, um, a bunch of, uh, what is that, copper? Uh, I've got a bunch of iron, and check this out. I came out with 60 of each of the... The, I don't know what you call it, gunpowder making materials? The grindables? I don't know what you call it. They're um, saltpeter and sulfur, respectively. All right, so that is freaking awesome. The problem is I don't have enough uh, charcoal now, which is really weird. Charcoal is not a thing I usually am not going to have a lot of. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop some firewood. Today we are going to be doing one of two things. We're going to be either going out for a loot run or... Or... We're going to be playing around with the sniper rifle. Um, my plan is to go out to the city for the loot run. And on the way, try and get the sniper rifle again, if I can. Um, if he's there. He wasn't there last time. So, eh, a little nervous, man. I don't know where the hell to get that sniper rifle now. By the way, look at what's left on my pick. All right, we're going to have to make the uh, the repair bench. What, did we have to wait until the last 10% to repair? Or, or was it 20%? I think it was 20%. You want to wait until there's 20% left before repairing. I believe that's what it was. Um, so, actually, you want to wait as long as you can because, you know, then you get more bang for your buck. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a bunch of this. We're going to make a bunch of iron out of it. There we go. Looking good. And there we go. A bunch of iron. Very good. Probably going to need that for repairs. All right. And then after that, we are going to get this fire going, man. We really need to get this fire blazing uh we're not gonna be going out for the loot run today because it's already 7 30 in the morning and i have a few things to do by the way trying to get out of that um <laughs> trying to get out of the mine was not that easy i barely made it um so that was fun and by fun i mean not fun at all all right so we're gonna do that and ignite and ignite mm. the thing is i think we have accelerant yeah we do we probably should have just used it all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here. And it uses, like, I think 0.1 liter per ignite. And then the and then it'll ignite guaranteed. So, and that's that's really important because, man, getting bark sucks. It sucks. I don't even think we have any. Uh, oh, there's some. I have some more firewood. I'll put that all outside. Yeah, getting bark is the worst. Um, oh, I actually have some more iron I can do. All right, I will do that. All right, so there we go, and we put this in here. Now, if you put the uh, accelerant in there, it's 100%. And last I checked, 100% is guaranteed. I guarantee. Oh, God, it's only 0.02%. Oh, that's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, we're not actually cooking anything. I'm just going to let that go through um, to get the charcoal. And while that's doing its thing, I'm going to come on over here, and we're going to put the rest of this iron in here. There we go. Very good. Very good. Do we have anything in here? I don't think we have anything in here. Yeah, we're ready for a loot run. We need food, too. And instead of, like, killing a bear, I was like, eh, let's just go loot it, right? I mean, we gotta loot, right? So, yeah. I don't think we've done much looting in this uh, season. So, there you go. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is, for to have that go through, I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep with my head right on the fire for two hours. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit of fatigue back, which is good, because we have been fatigued as hell. Now we're going to come in here. All right, so that's good enough for eight. Um, I don't think you can get this up over two hours. So we're going to go ahead and sleep another hour. And then I'm going to keep doing this to get that charcoal. Well, that kind of sucks. The, the, I can't get the campfire <laughs> to go over 49 minutes, no matter what I put in there. That is uh, the, that's just the worst. That is just the worst. Um, all right, well, it is what it is. Uh, so what we're going to do is we want to make some gunpowder. And we're going to need the... Um, we need the mortar and pestle for that. Okay. We should have everything else we need. So what I'll do is I'll just make it as I keep going. We've got a good 40 minutes here. Let's see how much, how long gunpowder takes. Um, 40 minutes. We can go 30. And let's just go 15. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue making this gunpowder one at a time as I get the charcoal out of the fire. I'm not going to let it go out because the hell with that. I wonder what one piece gives you. Oh, so one piece. Okay, so that's really that's really bugged. That's bugged as hell. <laughs> so one piece gives you 49. I, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. <laughs> oh, boy. That is hilarious. That means we can go 30 minutes, put one piece in. Go 30 minutes, put one piece in, rinse and repeat. Boy, I hope this bug gets fixed soon. Babysitting this fire is annoying. 
So annoying. I'm just going to throw some of this stuff on the ground now. All right. Well, I think another thing we're going to do before we head on out uh, in the morning is we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a bow. That was done, right? Uh, nope. Was not done. Okay. Never mind. Took that off prematurely. No problem. We don't need that. What we do need is the animal guts. And my guy needs a good night's sleep, too. <laughs> That's for damn sure. He's earned it. I mean, look at this, man. He's, a, he's like, what are you doing to me, Cage? What are you doing to me? Yeah. Running into the ground, my man. All right, so let's take these guts. And I did take the... Um, I did take the fur down. The fur, it's not fur. It's uh, animal hide, yeah. I do have some dry animal hide on me. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to come right here and um, hopefully we're going to make ourselves a bow. That will be wonderful. Make the long bow. Sounds pretty good to me. Fire will be out by the time we're done with this, but that's all right. You know, what are you going to do? Stupid fire. <laughs> all right, so we got the bow. And then we're going to make the quiver to go with it. And we're going to need some leather. So we'll turn this into leather. And we're going to need a few other things for the quiver. Um, we're going to need components, duct tape, and sewing kit. Oh, God. Duct tape, components, and sewing kit. Oh my god, my guy can't move, dude. He can't move. He's like, I'm not doing another damn thing till I get some sleep. I hear you, bro. I hear you. But you're not getting any sleep right now because we got stuff to do. Um, what did I say? Duct tape as well? I got duct tape right here. I think I only need two. And we're going to need some sewing kits. Mm. I wonder if that's, that can't be all the sewing kits I have. I probably have some kicking around somewhere. Hopefully that will be enough, though, because I don't feel like looking for them. All right. And uh, that is enough. Tactical quiver. What are we missing? More components. I didn't realize we needed 10. Can we just pick those up? No, we can't. Come on, man. There we go. Is that 10? That's 11. I'll take it. 11 is more than 10 last time I checked. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this quiver together. I'm going to eat, drink, uh, sleep, and be merry. And uh, tomorrow morning... We will go mess around with the sniper, and if he's not there, we will head to the ta town and not the town. It's like a city. We'll head to the city and start looting. Should be a lot of fun. All right, guys, it is the morning, and we might be doing something completely different today. <laughs> I, I meant I was planning to go loot, but then I forgot. I never got my survivor here. So what you do is you come to this little panel right here, this command panel, and down here on the left-hand side, there's going to be a thing that says set this to your base. So I went ahead and said to my base, by the way, that's not Rachel's picture. That's Kate's picture, which is kind of weird. Um, but she is here now. She's locked in here, too. If I close this, she can't get out. And that's what I don't want her to get out. So you know what? She might give me a quest. We might be doing a quest today. I'm not sure. Let's yeah. see. Talk. All right. So right here, we've got greet and nothing. So let's greet her. Will you go hunting today? Is that me? That's her asking, right? Um, is that it? That's all I can do? Okay. I'm afraid our food won't be enough. Okay, fair enough. Let's look at your inventory. There's your inventory. You can give her guns and stuff. I don't give them guns. They're not that good with them, <laughs> to say the least. So I do not give them guns. But you can. And um, you can also give them stuff right here. If you give Scott an axe, he'll, uh, you can make him cut trees for you. And I'm wondering if Scott's the only person that will give you the quest. Yeah, what are you going? See, there's nothing else I can do here. Um, so I'm guessing Scott's the only one who can give you the quest. So we're gonna we're gonna stay on point. We're gonna we're gonna go do the um, the whole looting thing. Eventually we're gonna have to get Scott. Uh, I don't know if he set it a specific camp. I don't think so. I think it's random. I, you know, if I attack that same camp again, it might actually. <sighs> that is unfortunate. That, that was actually kind of weird. Let's make sure everything's still in the back. Yeah. All right, that was weird. It's, I guess because I hit the log. Gotta be careful about that stuff, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I go, like, attack the same camp, if there'll be a different survivor there. I, I don't know. I'm gonna attack different camps, though, just for the just for the uh, entertainment factor. You don't want to see me hitting the same camp over and over, right? So. Alright, so we're gonna come down this long-ass road. And, um, honestly, the city might not even be the best place for loot. But the thing is, the city seemed to be bugged back, like, be before this update. And there was, like, almost no loot there. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to see if there's going to be any loot there this time. Um, honestly, right over there to my left, this whole area here is probably the best place to loot. And we'll do that eventually, but I'm kind of curious about the city. I'm also kind of curious about this, um, this sniper up here, see if he's still here. All right, so we're going to come through and just park right here, I guess. Okay. We're just going to kind of chill here. 
and see if he's up there. I don't think he is. Because if he is, he would have been shooting at me by now. Alright, well, let's just run up and just make sure. Watch out, because there will be some guys spawning here. I don't know if they're guaranteed to spawn here or not, but... Oh, he's up there! Shoot! Dude, how did he not see me? Hold on. He's looking right at me. Damn it, don't move. I should have just taken the shot. I always try and get the perfect pixel, you know, on his head. Unless that's not the sniper. Maybe it's one of the regular guys that walked up there? Usually the guy up there is a sniper. No, he's right there. There he goes. I guess he doesn't have his god aim anymore because <laughs> normally I would have been dead. So is there any buddies up here or? Hmm. I guess it's just him. That's fortunate for me. The hell did he go? I think I got him. Yeah, I think he's I think he's here alone. He was looking for me over here. Yeah, that guy, like if you stepped within range of him of like a thousand meters or whatever, like if you stand anywhere in the area, he was popping you from halfway across the map. The fact that he didn't spot me and shoot me right away is kind of amazing. He definitely uh he definitely um tuned him down a little bit. And I don't see anybody else here. So I think it's just him. Just in case he's not dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. Oh, man. I don't see the weapon either. Son of a biscuits. How do you not drop the weapon? He definitely had a sniper rifle. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. That is damned unfortunate. So I reloaded the game like... I don't know, a dozen times, and he was only up there once out of the 12 times, and uh, he'd never dropped the thing, and nobody ever dropped anything. They dropped carrots and like, a couple of rounds here and there, no gun parts, no snipe rifle, no anything interesting. So that's a bit of a bummer, but, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We're gonna go to the city and loot, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go see if the city is worth it. I'm gonna make this trip so you don't have to. Because if the city is not worth it, you guys need to know. You know, now all this uh, loot I'm getting in the city, and none of it's really 100% needed. Um, it's just you know I'm gonna be getting food. I guess I guess duct tape and stuff like that is needed, and like some things like uh, cloth and everything. But I have a good amount of that stuff. I can usually get it other places. <laughs> this is definitely not needed. But um, the city is really fun because it's a cool. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a town. It's like a city city. You know, so I, I lived here once too. I set up a base, and there's also going to be some bad guys here. Or, as I like to call them, randits. And there they are. We're going to try and drive through here, not getting shot. Hopefully. Oh, nothing going on here, randits. Oh, God. Let's see if we could run them over. Nope. Never mind. Oh, boy. Just got tagged. Oh, oh man. That is not good. Fucking stupid randits. I hate these guys. All right, guys. My car was completely shot to shit, and I was almost dead. So I just went ahead and reloaded. And we're going to save right here. We're going to try and get in the city without getting shot up. And the thing is, I know of a couple buildings I can get on. And if I can get on those buildings without them killing me, um, I could do some major damage to them. I could probably just, you know, honestly kill them with arrows. Uh, although, do I have enough arrows? I didn't think to look. Um, no, I can make arrows. So, yeah, I can make quite a few arrows. They're not hunting arrows, but that's okay. Because they won't be able to get to me anyway. Alright, so we need to get in here. I don't see anybody. So we're going to kind of park next to this building right here. And if this building's the one I'm thinking of, it's actually got a lot of good loot in it. Alright, and we're going to kind of just... Yeah, we want to go in there. And then up in there and get on the roof of that building. So, let's see if we can do that. I don't know, because sometimes there's bandits here. So, if they're here, they could ruin my day. They'll definitely be here eventually, 
It just depends on if they're here now. It doesn't look like they are. There we go. Alright, this is the good spot to be. Yep, right over there. God, I wish I had my sniper rifle. <laughs> Alright. So we got some wooden arrows. Let's uh let's snipe some of these guys. I don't I don't know if there's any snipers in this town. Oh, look at that. Man, this place is really crawling with them. I don't remember this many being here last time. Okay, let's see what we can do here. No, nope, he's going in the back. That guy's over there. I might be able to hit him from here. I think they're going to walk out in the woods over there and, like, disappear. And sometimes there's one over here, I thought. But I'm not seeing him right now. I'm not going to really go out of my way to fight these guys. If I could pick some off, that'd be cool, but... If they want to walk off into the woods... Nope, it looks like they're turning around. So that guy's walking off. That guy's walking off. And it looks like that guy's walking off. So they're all going in the woods. Are they going to leave this place completely, uh... Completely empty of, uh... Randits? That'd be cool. Let me loot in peace. Or you'll be leaving in pieces. Here, I don't see him anymore. They might have, uh... Oh, no, there he is. Yeah, alright. Now, is that all of them? I have no clue. I have no clue. But we're going to do some loot. We're going to start with that house right there. Because that house is legit cool. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Okay. Alright. Looks okay. Looks like they might, they might have all left. Gone into the woods. I don't know. They don't want me. I guess the idea is they're going hunting or gathering supplies or whatnot. And that makes sense. <clears throat> it's nice to have them leaving the area, too. Although sometimes I like to fight them, so. Right, it doesn't look like anything here is lootable. Oh, this stuff's lootable. Nothing. 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 Alright, we're 0 for 5 right now. That's not looking good, but, you know, it's not a wasted trip yet. Uh, either way, it's not going to be a wasted trip, because we're either going to find out there's loot here, or we're going to find out there's not. Either way is um is pretty valuable information. Do we actually have a shirt on? Oh, by the way, if you're ever wondering where the quiver goes, it goes in here, and then you right-click and go to add arrows. So, I don't think I ever showed that. I like this shirt better. Crowbar. Bunch of missing things. There should be a... Uh, an end table right there, but there's not, so that's funny. Uh, take the bottles. Definitely take the bandages. So we're finding a couple things here. But nothing... Oh, a baseball bat. That's cool. Wish I could find that in seven days to die. I'll take the car bat. Eh. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, whatever. I'll take it anyway, but... Really what we need for the car is engines. It's one thing that I can't really find a lot of. Alright. A little bit of a maze down here. Nothing in there. Yeah, I, I, so far not one container that I opened has had loot in it. I mean, I've only opened six, but still. Look at that thing. Alright. Is this lootable? No. Okay, so that was the stairs. That's the end room. No, that's the end room. So come over here. No, that's the end room. Actually, they might, they might both be end rooms. Yeah, they are. Okay. Can't sleep on that bed for some reason. Looks pretty comfy. Oh, here we go. Hell yeah. Revolver! That's pretty cool. I won't say no to a revolver. Oh, oh there we go. Something's got loot in it. Sweet. So we can move that. There we go. We're going to take all this stuff with us. 9 mil ammo. I like that. Speaking of 9 mil. There we go. Okay. Mm, Alright. I wouldn't say a ton of loot, but was it worth coming here? It probably was just for the revolver, to be honest. <clears throat> Although I'd like to see a little bit more loot. Oh, there we go. That That's really good, too. Okay. Alright, then this has been good. Although these are all going to be empty, right? Yeah. So it seems like the loot that's on the ground is fine. But the loot that spawns in containers is simply broken. Not there. Um, I've looted like, what, nine, ten items? And not one of them had anything in them. That's, that's an awful ratio. It's either broken 
or he needs to fix the. I think it's broken either way. I don't think he should loot ten items without finding anything. Um, so whether it's intended or not, I don't know. But I think he needs to uh, take take care of that. I'll come back and get those things. But for now, I would like to go out and take a. Oh, I thought we had the miss, but the these uh, windows just need washing. Yeah, let's go ahead and save the game. And we should be okay to bring the truck around now. And we are going to take all of those all of those items home with us. You best believe that. That's not gonna fit. Uh, it's gonna be. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Anything in here? No. Yeah. There's definitely there's definitely an opening in there. Let's go see if there's anything in there. Nothing. Uh, that's nothing I can get into. Probably can't get into that either. A lot of a lot of this uh, stuff is simply not done yet. You know, early access game, man. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gotta you gotta be prepared for this stuff. You're gonna play these early access games, especially these ones that are made by one developer. You know, it's just simply gonna take some time. Still worried about the uh, still worried about the randits. All right. Let's see if there's anything in here. Mm, nope. First floor is empty. It looks like. Uh, this looks pretty empty as well. Yep. No, I mean, I guess it's worth coming here, but like, you're not gonna be walking around here with a lot of loot, you know. I feel like, the, the, yeah, there should definitely be more loot here. I think it's, um, I don't know. I think it's broken personally, but it might be a balance thing where he's just got to add more loot. That's all. It wasn't always like this either. I remember, you know, oh, there we go. Some gloves. Gloves are useless though. They don't do anything. So, they look cool though. Let's put them on. There we go. Look at our blue hands. Those are actually good looking gloves too. As gloves go. All right, let's continue looking. I probably won't come here again. <laughs> yeah, there's... Th I mean, I might come here, but not for the loot. If I come here again, it'll be to mess with the bandits. All right. Let's see if there's some s stuff to loot over here. Oh, infected. Infected. I fought to get in there before. There's nothing in there. But I might fight them just because. Just because. See if we can hit him from here. What are you looking at, tough guy? Oh, right over his head. There he goes. God, I suck. There you go. You got an arrow in your leg, bro. Oh, now you have an arrow in your junk. Should have quit while you were ahead. Oh, good. You got a potato. Uh, can we get our arrows back, please? I thought... Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? E. There we go. Hold on. Let's pop this guy with the with the pistol. Boom! One less infected. And I'll take my arrow back, thank you. Oh, I didn't think he would be there. What? Really? This guy's bulletproof. Or not. I love the way they drop. That's so cool. Like, a lot of times, like, movies and, and video games and TV shows, make it when you get shot, you just get blown back. Like, you fly halfway across the, you know, world, and it's just like, oh! But a lot of times, like, a bullet will just pass through something, and then whatever that passes through will just drop. Because, like, bullets, like, don't knock you back like that. At least I don't think they do. I've never seen them get shot in real life, but um, I don't think they do. I think they kind of pass through you. Maybe you'll jolt back a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe if it hits a bone... It might make you jolt back. I don't know, guys. Anyone who's like, I got familiar with maybe hunting or anything. 
Let me know in the comments. By the way, I'm going to show you guys a good way to farm the infected. If you get a mist, you come up here, right? And load up your arrows. Well, five's not really loaded up, but that's okay. And then go ahead and sleep. Uh, how do we rotate that? There we go. Just go ahead and sleep. Once you fall asleep, the infected know exactly where you are and will come at you most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. And then once you're down there, you just take them out. If you can hit them. There we go. There we go. See? How sweet is that? And you just keep doing that over and over until the mist passes or um, you run out of arrows or whatnot. And then you go down and loot them. I'll admit, that was not as many as I was hoping. But it's okay. We got a couple salt out of it. Oh, yeah. Pretty decent amount of stuff. That's cool. All right, guys. So what's what do we think? What do, what do we think about the... Um, you guys were here with me for the entire thing. What do you guys think about the... Um, the city. I got a I got a revolver and I got an engine. That alone kind of makes it worth it. But for a big city like this, I don't know. I just expect more excitement and more stuff. So um, for the city right now, I'm going to give it a grade of a C. And only because I got those two items. Like, um, is it worth coming here? Yeah, get the revolver. Get the engine. Sure. Um, look around. It's a pretty it's a pretty neat looking city. So I do like that. But um, it definitely needs to be dealt with because uh, we need, you know, more loot in it. So, anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And I'm going back because I forgot to get a screenshot.